queue stretched back into Yarra Park before the start of a match between the West Indies and Australia. Crowds from the city come down paths shaded by great elms brought from England and planted last century. Much like the game of cricket itself. Australia had won the second test, West Indies won the third and the fourth test was drawn. The series was even, one test each with one test tied. For Worrell, popular West Indies captain, this is an unforgettable occasion. Tossing the fateful coin is a moment of tension. Australia wins, but Captain Benno sends the West Indies into bat. So the Australians take the field. A world record crowd, 90,800 people, watched the second day's play, and the match was telecast live on ABC television. I remember going up to bat, and um, it was like when they whisper, it sounded like a bunch of beads coming across the field. You know, I've never, never seen or anything like it. Davidson bowling to Conrad Hunt. Richie Benno to Kenhai. Simpson to Gary Sobers. Frank Misson to the West Indian wicketkeeper, Jerry Alexander. The West Indies made 292 in the first innings. Australia replied with 356. Wesley Hall bowling to McDonald. Sobers to McDonald. Lance Gibbs to Benno. In its second innings, Australia needed 258 to win. When Grout was out, it was eight wickets to 256. And Martin might have been caught, which would have made it nine wickets. Valentine to Ken Mackay, the scores are tied. Australia won by two wickets. Cricket had captured the national imagination again in a way unmatched since Don Bradman's day.